Thanks for tuning in to That's What I Call Marketing, the CAN Sessions. Brought to you by Friedman International, the international campaign experts taking the pain out of your multi-market campaigns. I'm your host, Connor Byrne, and having worked with Friedman International in my previous role as a global marketing leader, I've experienced firsthand their deep level of expertise and attention to detail as the go-to experts for all international campaign needs. Now, let's get right into today's episode of That's What I Call Marketing, The Can Sessions. Ladies and gentlemen, the manager will only take three questions today. <laughs> well, I thought it was, it was a good game today, Connor. Not a great game, but a good game. And the board are fully behind him. Colin, how was your day at the Can Festival? Well, it started off um, where, well, where it was supposed to start off, which was me standing on stage doing a keynote for a major UK retailer, which... Uh, which went well, I think. Uh, there was a couple of key kind of punchlines, like the comedian trying to do the punchline when the um, microphone uh, collapsed halfway through my punchline. So that was a bit of a bummer. But in that, it went down well. And it was very, very interesting because there was the creme de la creme of, well, international brands and retailers there. So, yeah, it was just went quite well. And, you know, most people didn't throw anything at me. So okay. it was quite good. That's good. That's, yeah. that's always Always good. feel that's a win. Yeah. It is a win. It is a win. Well, I uh, said I was hoping to go see the work. So I actually went down to the basement where the work is, got to see uh, the work, some of the judges. And here's a bit of what I saw. Well, I said I would get some time to come and see the work. And I've just popped down here. I was actually trying to get into a session with Lego. It was completely full. So I've popped down here to have a look at the work. And I'm actually standing here behind uh, one of the Grand Prix winners, which is Magnum, uh, Find Your Summer. Uh, it definitely was, it was Spain, but it definitely feels like an ad that could be done for Ireland. Where we don't get a whole lot of sun, but some great uh, work down here, uh, outdoor print uh, on display. They were just doing a session there with the, the jurors talking about some of the audio and radio campaigns. So um, incredible, you know, just to get inspired by the amount of creativity on display here. Again, there was over 20,000 pieces of work submitted to the Cannes Line Festival of Creativity this year. And also today I got to, I was in this press centre here where they actually announced the winners in the morning. That's obviously embargoed to later on tonight. So really interesting to get those insights. Yeah, absolutely fascinating to see how they, um, you know, do the judging and think it all through. Um, I think my key question is, will they take a brown envelope with unmarked bills so that when I put an entry in next year, I'm a guaranteed winner? Did, did you suss that out for they, me? They, they did, no one asked that question today, so I'll come I back tomorrow. I find that really odd now. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been my first question, hands up in the air. Excuse me, but... Come on, scale. Hmm. Uh, I got to you know record some more episodes for that I'm going to be putting out uh, after the festival with um, I met Karen Nelson Field, so obviously talked about her new book. Uh, she's got to learn. It's going to be great. It she's is going fantastic, to be great. and yeah. she's a lovely person in person, isn't she? Really, really. I keep saying she's really sound. Another two sound people, John and Pete, uh, of Evidenza. They used to be well, the B two B Institute. They did a great job there. Phenomenal work. So I got kind of into. Obviously a bit of that time, but also kind of where the insight came for, for Evidenza. So really looking forward to, to that coming out. It's uh, it's interesting because obviously the Evidenza stuff is, is a little bit powered by AI, and which has one, been one of the themes through um, the last few days as well. And, you know, there's a real inflection point occurring in the industry. It's very much a, you know, okay, it's vibes feeling now, but there's definitely a sort of feeling as you uh, we, that we're moving on from how things used to be to a sort of a different world where it's AI powered, tech powered, data powered, first party data powered, uh, uh, and uh, with creativity layered over that, which is compared to say a conversation 10 years ago might have just been all creativity, not layering that sort of technology piece under it. Yeah, it, it, it's been fascinating really. I mean, look, it's been the big the big topic and probably not the first year for it, but it is it is everywhere. I, I, I am concerned for, you know, people like yourself for the future because um, last time I checked, you couldn't even work an Excel sheet. So it was I kind of- a, But I think that, ChatGP is good. She's going to solve all your problems. Yeah. Fair um, enough. I, I went along to, uh, I talked about this before, but the Appy had their Irish lunch today, which was great to see. I think there was nearly 100 people there, um, you know, from the industry and, you know, other leaders from kind of global agencies that, that were there. So that was really wonderful to see the support. And, you know, I spoke to Pete from Publicist, Peter Dobbin and uh, Jay McDade from Think House. And it was great to be able to congratulate them on their Winners. phenomenal win. Yeah. And Charlie Stoney from IAPI uh, took a moment out. Uh, I peeled her away from uh, her networking to, to come and talk to me. 
Charlie, well, first of all, an amazing gathering here, and we're in the back of some wins for Irish creativity. What a brilliant, brilliant result. I know. I'm so pleased for them. I couldn't be more thrilled. And more to come. Yes, I think yeah. so as well. Um, and to win a gold and three silvers on day one, well, you know, it just shows that Irish creativity is packing its punch. 100%. And I was chatting to Pete Dobbin from Publicis, and he said one of the great things was loads of agencies that are here and at home are getting in touch and saying congratulations like really just thrilled for kind of the result for irish creativity um, and yes. this is an amazing gathering of kind of so many people what was the idea behind putting this together well we've always done an irish gathering at can um, whenever we could you know it's been the irish drinks or we've had the can young lions down here because we're one of the few countries that take 14 young lions down to can amazingly given how small we are um, but I think there was definitely there's definitely an appetite for all the Irish to get together and yeah. frankly I happily can't afford it by <laughs> ourselves so when Enterprise Ireland um, you know when we were talking to Enterprise Ireland about supporting us we felt well Cannes is one of the places that we can get a European yeah. and international gathering to attend something that's Irish and start spreading the word slowly but surely and we've got a lovely European crowd around here today yeah. Lots of people from across across the water in America as well as um, in Europe. So that's fantastic. Brilliant. And I was talking to a few people this morning who, you know, we'd, I'd extended an invitation to come along and it just clashed. They were speaking and they really yes. wanted to come. So I think it just shows, you know, not only we try to be a creative nation, people like working with us, like it's a great place to do business. It is a great place to do business. And, and when I ask people who don't really have a connection with Ireland, but maybe I have a connection through the ACA board I'm on, um, they went, oh, yes, definitely, I'll come to the Irish yeah. lunch. It's like, it's like this sort of signal. So maybe it'll get bigger and bigger over the years, I think. And we're only day two at Cannes, well, day two proper. Mm -hmm. What are kind of the big themes for you and what are you looking forward to for the rest of the week? Well, I am... Um, emceeing the forum stage and there's a lot of wonderful DEI talks there's um, there's also future gazers in the forum stage which is super because it's always a panel of really interesting people and they have that every day so it kind of obviously um, does what it says on the tin yeah. it looks at the future there's a lovely panel um, of black at cam which I'm very much looking forward to led by a super South African creative um, and then in general I think AI yeah. continues yeah. to be a hot topic. Are we learning anything new? Probably not at this stage. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the one thing on AI that I find really interesting is that um, I believe the agencies are much further ahead of the marketeers in respect of AI. But they're also investing a huge amount of money. So I think the, care the thing we have to be careful of is that clients and marketeers don't see AI as a way of, of reducing costs because somehow or other agencies have to be paid for the amount they're investing in technology. Yeah, and look, I think you need, like I know from working both agency and client side, that when you're client side, there's so much going on. And as Ellie Norman said to me, like the agency piece is a tiny bit of your every day. And so that's actually the investment in the agency to kind of help figure out the stuff that you may not have time to figure out. So, you know, it's definitely a huge role for the agency. Yeah, so, um, right. yeah. Well, listen, Charlie, thanks a million. Not I know it's all. incredibly busy for you not here, so all. thanks. And we'll catch Thank up with more of the Irish Thank you for covering the week. the week. Yeah, no problem at all. Okay. Thanks, Charlie. Well, look, uh, plans for tomorrow? Tomorrow I am doing uh, another keynote um, in the main Palais area in the Rotund Room. So if you're here and you happen to be, be mad keen to hear about a bunch of commerce content creativity um, examples, I'm using some four examples that I've picked up around the globe and two of them are Irish. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, Walmart are on stage directly after me, so I don't feel any way intimidated whatsoever by the yeah. fact that the largest company retailer in the world with a million staff and unlimited budget is speaking directly after me, who doesn't have unlimited budget and has uh, has no staff. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, well, look, another busy day, I think, for both of us. I'm meeting a load of amazing people again. So Mauro Porcini from uh, Pepsi is going to be dropping I thought he by. was the manager of Spurs, no? No, no, that's a different guy all together. Um, I'm going to be catching up with James Herman. Um, Fantastic. Previously unavailable. Well, that's his company he 
Um, called previously unavailable. Yeah, yeah. Just to be clear, it's not that he was previously unavailable. I, I should have a company called I am available yeah. now for a small fee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Matt Herbert from Tracksuit. I don't. We're not planning an interview. I may get him to say a few words, but catching up with him. Jimmy Knowles from Canva. I'm a huge fan of Canva. I love what they do. You love your dance routines. I did see you on the on the Quasette earlier on doing a, I, uh, was, a TikTok dance routine. It was the karaoke. So he's going to be talking all about that famous, infamous, and viral uh, rap dance. Uh, and then, you know, we're going to catch up again tomorrow and we're going to bring you through uh, all that we hear, see and experience at can. Hopefully you are enjoying these catch ups, these roundups, giving you an insight into what's happening here every single day. And thanks again to Friedman International for their support of the can sessions. Um, and that is it for today, Colin. Is there anything well, you'd like to say? It's a good night from me. <laughs> it's a good night from him. <laughs>